hi guys and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today i have a walmart grocery pickup order and i just thought this was easier and i haven't did i haven't done it in a while so um i was trying to think why i haven't done it in a while and today i remember it because it was a lot of uh substitutions and a couple of things that was unavailable and those were the items that i really wanted but it probably was my i ordered them saturday night no saturday and then um i probably should have ordered it like on a friday or earlier in the week and then they wouldn't have been out because people probably started shopping on sunday when they it's a big shopping grocery day so yeah um what they didn't have available was like an ink cartridge I needed for my HP printer, color and black, um, some water for Cottrell. Um, he's on fall break, so he's here. He wanted a big case of water. We also needed one. I don't remember if I ordered one or two, but we still have water. Um, that's all that I can think of at this present moment. And um, it was some substitutions on some stuff, so I was like disappointed. But I still like the grocery pickup because it saves me time. And then I ran to Michael, so I will do a separate um, planner haul. And then, yeah, because I was looking for the new Happy Planner stuff. They did have the new planners, but I got some um, recollection planners instead. Okay, let's get started with this, and then I'll put a meal plan. Today, we're going to have, like, meatball subs. I didn't do that last week, so we're going to do that um this week so let me start over here and it was something else i was going to say i don't remember now but okay so i picked up the linen bleach um concentrated i needed some more of that the clorox pet urine remover i think i saw this in be my guest with denise video but i'm not sure but of course i have three boys and the youngest is about to drive me crazy because i just went in the bathroom and he said he didn't make it and instantly when I hit the bathroom, I could smell it. So, um, this is downstairs. So, I have to keep the mop and buckets on standby at all times. And I'm going to have to teach him to clean up his own mess. So, anyway, I saw she used, I think she used this in her video. I have to look at it again. And I just did a search on the site and I picked this up. It was like 3 or $4. So, um, yeah. I also picked up some Clorox Tilex mold and mildew. My mom used to use um, Tilex a lot. But I don't even think they sell that anymore. And I, it's hard for me to find grease lightning as well. Um, we use that a lot growing up. But I don't buy this a whole lot because we don't have any windows that you can open in the bathroom. And I don't want nobody to fall out. I know growing up, I had a habit of spraying too much um, chemicals. And my eyes be, my nose would be running, eyes be watering and everything. And my mom was like, I hope you can't do that, you know, heavy handed and stuff. So I don't really buy this too much. And if I use it, I have to use it when Jason's not sleeping. And he usually sleeps when we're up. So anyway, I picked that up because I needed that. Some extreme butter. Trail said he was out of popcorn. I picked up one for the house because JJ loves popcorn. And then one for Trail. And then the Gatorade right here is, this was a substitution as well. I smell bleach. I had, it was leaking and I had to rinse it off. Um, this is the big thing and they, this, she substituted this for something else. I can't remember exactly what. And then Trail has one in there. I picked up the Simply Smart and he put this in the freezer. It's gluten free um, breaded chicken tenders. And speaking of gluten free, um, I was telling you guys, um Trey was complaining about i don't know it was something in one of my videos so i need to look up the symptoms for gluten free to see if he may have um issues with gluten or not but these are really good i also picked up some parsley for a recipe and i have i think two or three slow cooker recipes because i want to make it easier even though um yeah we have practice and so forth um yeah make it easier i picked up some butter flavored syrup and some sweet and salty nut granola bars the 12 pack one is for control the other one is for us i picked up some medium egg noodles and this is for a recipe the mozzarella cheese this is for today for the subs some sharp cheddar cheese i think that's for a recipe 
picked up Jason some pears. And these pears look different. Mm. I hope I got the right ones. And then I got some orange juice, some soup. And I got some soup because you should always have some soup as a staple in your house. But I got some because um, to help with, I guess, if I want something for lunch. And trying to make a healthier version of, I know they have light, but I don't really care for the light on Progresso. But something healthier to eat or not as heavy for myself so I want to start like either having two shakes a day and just one meal or either one shake protein shake and maybe some soup or salad and then a meal or something like that so some chicken flavored stuffing mix they didn't have any pepperidge farm because you guys requested I know a while ago and I apologize the pepperidge farm um stuffing is what I would need for the chicken casserole so I posted that on Instagram and I don't make that all the time and then when I do make it it makes a whole lot and the shrill's not here to eat it it'll go to waste so I would have to like freeze half of it and my husband will try to eat it so it won't go to waste but um Jada is not a huge fan of it so um if I do make it I would have to cut it, put it in some of it in the freezer, and then they didn't have any pepperidge farm. All they had was this. But this is for a recipe as well that I will share. Um, yeah, I will share. So um, this was a substitution. I was like, I have to see, but I think this will be fine. She said sausage rolls. Um, I think I got the hoagie rolls or something like that. I think it was Arnold, and they substituted for that. So I got two of those. The turkey stuffing mix. Um, let's see. The chicken sausage and gumbo. I talked about this and didn't even show it. Chicken rice. I think this was a substitute. I think I wanted wild rice, but it doesn't matter. Um, beef and vegetable. I think I got two of the gumbo. This was a substitution because I asked for the big can, but this is fine. This is better. Of uh, the cream and mushroom soup. Uh, the lemonade drink mix. The grape drink mix. I probably should have got the crystal light, but this is fine. The fruit punch drink mix, sugar free. And then I wanted to have like some muffins at the end of the bar. Not a complete breakfast station, um, but just some muffins. So if we're going to a game or something like that, they can grab them and have them. So I picked up two of the apple cinnamon, and you just add water to these. I can't remember what these taste like but I remember when I was coupon and I used to get these for free or for just a couple of cents and they used to love the blueberry and cheesecake muffin mix so I picked up two two is a um I think two to makes 12 or is it 24 I can't remember but I always get two and then I have two of the banana nut and then I have two of the strawberry cheesecake so, I can't remember. One of them I thought had an aftertaste. It probably was that banana nut or the strawberry. But, I just picked those up. They're like 88 cent. Go back over here. The plain breadcrumbs. Um, let's see. A chuck rose. I'm going to put this in a recipe in the slow cooker. And instead of getting the chunks, what I did was I figured I could just cut this up. And if you cook it, it's going to shred anyway. So, I picked that up. And then this was the substitution. The Mount Italian sausage. I wanted the sweet or was it the hot? I think it was the hot. So most of the time when they give you a substitution, they give you the same or more. So this is a lot more than what I asked for. So I was okay with that. And then this as well was a different. This is Butterball. And I asked for the Genio. And I think this is the same because it's three pounds. It's just not in the roll and that's fine. Um, the onion recipe soup mix. That's for a recipe. I picked up some Coast. Deodorant soap. Try do you need soap or toothpaste? Nah, nah, you tell me. I'm in Ash last night, but you sleep. Um, Prego um, marinara. I have two of those for the meatball subs. Cream of celery, and then cream of chicken. And I don't think I need that for a recipe because I was gonna do the casserole, but they didn't have. Wait a minute. I ordered some chicken. Oh Lord, I have to look at mine. I ordered like a big bag of chicken. And I don't see it. 
um, a relaxer I needed for myself, um, some butter milk pancake mix, there's the other cashew um, granola bars, some meatloaf seasoning for a slow cooker recipe, usually don't do meatloaf in a slow cooker but I'm going to see, and then some celery for a recipe, and then also I think I'm going to make some chicken salad which is why I got the crisp thin sea salt crackers. And then some of the Coca-Cola Cherry Zero. There's the other chicken and sausage gumbo. I needed some of these. And then also the scrubbing bubbles. Um, what's this? The bathroom grime fighter. I'm looking for the scent. But I guess you can see it there. Some cups. And some salmon because I'm trying to eat um, a little bit better but not eating the best. So I picked up some salmon to like make, I've seen a lot of like tasty or you know those videos that they have on Facebook or probably on the YouTube channel too where they cook the food really fast. So um, I picked these up. And then also I don't think I have picked up a turkey breast too often but I saw a slow cooker recipe for this so I picked that up. Probably make that next Sunday and then um, the slow cooker liners. I seen this in like Grady's mom's haul a couple of times and I was like why well, don't pick these up because it'll make it easier uh, for myself so I picked that up and you get eight in a pack and then some paper plates and then I also needed some girly products and I like to get the equate because they're way cheaper they're like three or four dollars three to two dollars cheaper than the always or the other Okay guys, I'm getting ready to edit my grocery haul video and I realized that I realized that I forgot to go back and say that I they did leave something off my order. It was a 10 pound bag of frozen chicken breast, the great value brand. And so that mess was $18. So I didn't go back today is Tuesday. I didn't go back to today to get it. And I meant to go back yesterday. And she said for my inconvenience, um, she was going to give me some water because they were out. So when I took trail back to school, they were out of water again. They had one, one, two cases of water trail got one case. And so the lady over the phone was saying that, um, it was somebody different that I spoke to the same day on Sunday when I left my order and I was just making sure that she knew about it, which she didn't. And then so she said, what did she say? She said um, she will let them know and if they have some water. So the other um, kiddos, they were younger than me, so that's why I said kiddos. They said that they... Um, was going to get my water for me or whatever and I was like oh do they oh so I guess they got some more water in so anyway they didn't get any water in and I guess they didn't want to disappoint me so that he came out with this boatload of water to give me so um, I was going to show you guys that I made that so they gave me um, usually when Walmart substitutes something they give you more the same or more and so anyway they didn't want to disappoint me again so they gave me the smart water the one liter six bottles and then the life water I never had this before I guess that's how you pronounce it life water water I don't know pH balance electrolytes for taste they gave me two of these so that was nice of them and then they gave me the Sam Choice purified 12 ounce 20 ounce bottles um, because I ordered the great value 40 pack I believe 20 ounce no 16 ounce bottles and they didn't have any the meal plan for the week of October the 7th through the 13th um, to yesterday we had breakfast for dinner and so we had pancakes sausage eggs and bacon and I'm going to switch this around because today is Tuesday and we have to take trail back to school. So I probably will not have time to make seafood. So I have a seafood night, which is just salmon and some veggies. And sometimes when I'm cooking fish, I will make like a couple of pieces of shrimp or have some shrimp in the freezer. And then also on Wednesday, which I did take out because I was going to switch it around the meatloaf to do the slow cooker I haven't done this before but I got this out of this recipe book here 
which I got from Dollar Tree, which is Southern Living, what's for supper, 30 minute meals everyone will love. So I wanted to try this meatloaf favorite here and I can, if you guys can stop and take a screenshot, I'm not sure. But um, I wanted to also try the shredded ranch potatoes that they have over here. I was trying to figure out, was that it? But the ingredients and instructions to do that is right here. So it's like hash browns and um, hash browns, sour cream, parsley, ranch dressing, ground pepper. Okay, so then from Thursday, the beef with noodles. And that's really a beef stew. And it's this right here. And I thought that looked good, so I could try that. And this book came from Dollar Tree as well. The good cooking, good housekeeping, comfort, good comfort food. And then on Friday, I don't have anything. And then on Saturday, it. I put it on the wrong day, but it was supposed to be Sunday. It's another slow cooker turkey and dressing or stuffing. And it's this one here. And I didn't put anything because, again, sometimes you want a free night. And then as well, we probably will have leftovers. So where is my page? Oh, here it is. So the turkey breast and herb stuffing, and it's in a slow cooker. So I thought I would try that recipe. And this is back in the Southern Living What's for Supper book. And you guys probably cannot even see that. So that's what we have for dinner for the week of the 7th through the 13th. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.